This is breaking news. Caitlin Clark passes Diana Torres's test in Phoenix. As much that is out there about Caitlin Clark phenomena, about the record attendance numbers and skyrocketing television ratings, about the flashy passing and limitless three-point range, you have to experience it in person to truly understand. There is a rare collection of stars in sports that just have it. LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Shohei Otani, and Patrick Mahomes. After four years of college basketball and a handful of games in the pros, it's clear that Clark is one of them. On Sunday, Clark was in Phoenix, the latest stop in her WNBA rookie tour. Hundreds of fans in Clark jerseys, some from Iowa, some from Indiana, walked the concourse while thousands more filled the seats. The roars picked up when Clark was introduced and were deafening when her first three-point shot, a running 29-footer from the Phoenix Mercury logo, dropped in. This was a home game for the Mercury, but let's be honest. Most of the 17,071 in attendance bought tickets to see the Indiana Fever star play. There was a big game feel inside Footprint Center, and as regular season matchups go, it was one. Neither Indiana, 8-12, or Phoenix, 9-9, is a title contender. Not yet, anyway, but that didn't matter. Basketball is a team sport, but its popularity is built around individuals. It was Fever versus Mercury, but really it was Clark versus Diet. And the game delivered. Six lead changes, four ties. The Mercury led by as many as 15 in the first half. In the third quarter, the Fever got their lead as high as 10. Torresi scored 19 points. Clark collected 15. While Clark's shot, 4 to 14, wasn't falling, she made an impact with her playmaking, 12 assists, and on the glass, 9 rebounds, playing nearly the full 40 minutes while battling an illness that kept her from addressing reporters after the game. In the fourth quarter, with Indiana clinging to a one point lead, Clark knocked down two free throws with 19 seconds left to seal a win for the Fever. It's amazing what Caitlin's been able to do in her short career, said Teresi. So far, just been nothing short of remarkable. Teresi sparked a social media stir last week, answering a question about facing Clark with a terse, yeah, it will be fun. The veteran had a similarly chilly warning for Clark back in April before the NC double a title game, telling ESPN's Scott Van Pelt, reality is coming. You look superhuman playing against some 18-year-olds, but you're going to come play with some grown women that have been playing professional basketball for a long time. Though the league's spike in popularity has everything to do with Clark Clark, she hasn't exactly been welcomed with open arms, and as she prepared for a Tuarasi-led Mercury team, it was fair to wonder if she would face more of the same. Instead, there was nothing but smiles between two of women's basketball's most recognizable faces. They hugged before the game, exchanging a laugh before the opening tip. In the first half they met near center 